All right, for Monster Movie Every Day for October 2022, for October 19th, we have Invisible Man's Revenge uh, from this set, from the big 30 movie set uh, from 1944 on Blu-ray. TLDR, it sucks. I think this is the first time that they've done this in the credits, though, where they introduce the guy, the uh, actor, before they even do anything with the title. So I was really excited when I saw that they have John Hall back to play the Invisible Man again because I really thought he did awesome in The Invisible Agent. Uh, however, he's not playing the same character in this, and it's totally not connected. All right, so speaking of the Blu-ray quality, um, this one, the image was a little bit soft, and it also did that transition thing where it gets blurry before it changes scenes. And uh, the sound was okay. And the detail, it was really watchable, and it was detailed enough that you could see the strings on everything when they were making it float for the invisible people carrying stuff effect. And it's an hour and 17 minutes, so not as short as some, not as long as some, but still short. All right, so this guy is acting super suspicious, like ridiculously suspicious. Like, if he just acted normally, he would totally blend in. But he's just acting very suspicious and hiding behind stuff when cops walk by so clearly he's got something going on uh, but i'm going to save you the trouble with the plot so he before the movie starts he's supposedly knocked out and lost his memory and then hits his head again and regains his memory and then he goes to the people who supposedly left him to die on an expedition for diamonds in africa tells them he wants his stuff they drug him, toss him out, he falls in a river, gets found by a random guy who decides to help him because he thinks he can get money out of it. So their little plot to get money doesn't work, and he leaves in the rain, and he goes and knocks on somebody's door for a directions, and it's a scientist who knows how to do invisible stuff, who has found invisibility on his own, separate from all the other scientists and all the other movies. So it's totally not connected to the other movies. It's once again another independent scientist finding invisibility stuff on their own. So the titles of these are a little bit frustrating because it's like, Invisible Man's Revenge, and it's like, oh, cool. Nope, it's not connected to anything. So he happens across the scientist in the rain that does invisible stuff. He gets himself turned invisible, he starts wreaking havoc on the people that he thinks owe him a bunch of stuff. And what else? Oh, he does murder to get visible. He's about to do more murder. Uh, the dog of the person who he murdered ends up killing him. And then the police guy says he probed too deeply in forbidden places. And then it ends. Okay, so it is a terrible movie. However, the invisible guy effects are pretty cool. Like, look at this part. The the lady thinks that he's not real, and so he's going to scare her, but by putting water on his face, look how cool this looks. Look at that. And here's another cool effect when he puts some flour on his face so that his... His buddy can cannot be so disconcerted that he's missing his head. I know it doesn't really doesn't quite work as well when I'm filming it on the TV, but yeah. All right, so this movie was really, really slow and boring, and not in a good way, like a interesting ponderous way it was just it was slow i had zero investment in the plot and in any of the characters at all uh this is absolutely the worst movie in the entire box set so far not not only just the invisible movie invisible people movies but also the the big 30 movie box set like this is easily the absolute bottom like by quite a bit and now that I've showed you a couple cool special effects from the movie, there is zero point to watch it. So I'm glad I saw it because I'm I'm watching the entire series. Kind of like I'm glad I saw Aliens 3 and 4, but those movies are freaking horrible and I don't acknowledge their existence. And I only acknowledge the audiobook of Alien 3 as existing. 
This is kind of like that. I'm glad I saw it, but I, it's garbage. I do not like it. And actually, continuing comparing back to Alien 3 and 4, this movie had some cool special effects, but other than that, it's completely worthless like those ones. Okay, this has been your monster movie per day of October 2022 for October 19th. So the next movie will be due October 20th, and it is The Mummy's Ghost from 1944. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have seen this. Uh, what What is this? The Invisible Man's Revenge. Let me know if you've seen it and if you like it, because I did not like it, and it's not very good. So uh, thank you for watching. Leave a comment and do subscribe things. All right, okay, bye.